Lion face, lemon face, lion face, lemon face, lion face, lemon cast. Blah, 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 blah. What are we on? Like take six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know. We've got a lot of racket uh, going on here today. Cars, a uh, loud exhaust. Some Harley Davidson's came by a while ago. Just get our YouTube channel walked all over. We're going to try to get it this time, guys. Just bear with us here. Uh, Beef me up here with you. Today, we're going to be taking a look at my Shirley Fabrication Offset Reverse Flush Stug Burner. Try saying that five times real fast. We're going to show you the uh, internal uh, mechanisms here and everything on this particular unit. And I'll uh, let you get a look at the inside of a, a reverse flow. If you've never seen the inside of a reverse flow uh, stick burner. So the outside here on the Shirley Fabrication, we have a uh, cool touch handles all the way around. So you can run this. You're not going to burn your hands. You can run this, you know, barehanded. You can operate all your controls here. No problem. Um, we, op we opted for the uh, tail true. These are actually the glow in the dark edition. Tail true barbecue thermometers. And uh, you can you can order these. Uh, Shirley will put anything anything you want done to it. He'll do to it. But these are the glow in the dark, and we actually have a video up on our channel of these uh, operating in, in the dark. <laughs> They're really neat. But uh, they'll do they'll put anything in there that you want. But uh, they weld the flames in actually here. See that, hun? So you won't need you don't need the installation brackets. They actually they weld them in right here. So if you ever needed to replace one, you just unscrew it and screw it right back into your to your flange going in to the uh, warmer box here. And then it's the same deal on the uh, on the main chamber. And then we'll go up here and we'll just take a look. Nice tight weld right there. All the hinges, all the hinges here, they all have grease fittings. So that's super nice. Uh, you grease that up and you get this here. It opens up. Oh, so nice and quiet. You know, no screeching metal on metal sounds there. And uh, well, it'll last forever. <laughs> keep, it, keep it greased up there. But moving right along to the, uh, the inside here. We got three 20 inch racks, 20 by 20 inch racks here, and they slide. Well, we have a stay right here, so you lock them in right there. You can load these up with food and put them right back in there. So, I'm just going to get these out of the way. And we're moving on here to our drip pan charcoal tray here. You can use this, this as a drip pan, keep uh, grease, whatever, uh, falling down, you know, into your fire. Off of your whatever you're cooking there, and you, you know, take it out, clean that out, hose that out, you know, when, when you get done. But also, you can load this up with charcoal, like a load up a snake style charcoal run, which is to say, uh, run charcoal about as wide as my hand here, a run of it from there to this end, and then go across here and come back kind of a horseshoe U shape and come right back over here. And you take just a little bit of charcoal, you know, pre lit and put it right in there, and it would burn gradually down like a snake. And you just you know, put you some wood chips, chunk, uh, chunks of uh, chunks of wood, whatever you want to put in there to add some uh, smoke flavor as you go. Or you could just uh, load that pan up with some charcoal, uh, blaze that up, and you could get in here and you could actually cook steaks, whatever you want to do. Um, you can do that. So remove that out of the way. That is heavy, 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 guys. Now, going into the uh, bottom right here, we opted for both vents. I got both vents going. Got one going from the main chamber and the other one into the firebox. We'll open this up. There we go. Now this is our main going in our firebox right here. All right. Now this is a diffuser. It's a piece of plate steel here with some angle iron. So what this does is, if you don't, if you, if you want to run it, you know, without that uh, drip pan uh, charcoal tray in there, you really want to get some flow going in here and get this thing up to temp, you know, really hot. Like, uh, you know, we cooked some chicken in it. turned out really well. We've done a couple of cooks in this so far. It turned out excellent. But you just pop this right in there. And it's going to let the heat come in, kick right up out of that uh, firebox right there. And it's going to kick around here. And then, you know, if you got your main open here, that's going to flow to here. So you're going to get real good flow. And you're not going to get any uh, hot spots right here in the middle, burning your food up uh, right there in the middle. And then our stack up here is just a simple, uh, you know, pinwheel. You just slide this out of the way. Set that wherever you want, wherever you want. When you get done, you lock it down. It locks into place here. Look at that. It locks right into place. That's not going to come open uh, going down the road. Not at all, guys. So... We'll go ahead and close this up. And then here's our, our pinwheel, of course. If we're wanting to run this as a, just run it as a uh, kind of a vertical, uh, vertical smoker, just a vertical box smoker, you can do that. You know, just close everything off and uh, put your charcoal pan in and do that. But anyways, we're gonna move on here to our firebox. Now, I had them build me an insulated firebox. It's two inches of insulation here, a quarter inch steel, and sandwiched in between that quarter inch steel, is a fireproof insulating material and that's 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 a gives you a really really super efficient uh firebox guys just a super efficient firebox so i'll go ahead and pull this pan out of the way here it's a charcoal it's a fire basket charcoal. pull this fire basket out of the way and we'll have a look at it now this is our fire basket they take 
and they put uh, two layers two layers of the uh, mesh steel there in the bottom so it's gonna be a long time before this burns out and again the welds are just superb uh, superb as you find throughout these uh, Shirley fabrication uh, smokers very well put together now if you've never seen the inside of one this is how a reverse flow works we got our fire we build our fire here in, the, in that in that the uh, fire basket and you get the fire goes right up into the bottom here and it actually goes through across a plate right there so you got the heat and smoke travels across the bottom there travels across the bottom there and uh eats that plate up we're gonna go around and take a look at it and then it goes all the way down to the other end and reverse flow comes back over the top of our racks there so that's where we get the reverse flow aspect of our reverse flow uh, offset smoker so we're gonna go ahead and go to the other end we'll just open a little light to to the vent there you can see down here now go ahead and open this up some people some of you guys on a on the barbecue bread there you were asking uh hey what's the deal with these uh really big really big probes there that looks huge i haven't seen any that big where'd you get those uh can you get those uh yeah yeah surely fabrication will, will build these get you these man just ask for one just tell them you want the you know the next size up and it's got uh, i don't know some kind of high temp uh grommet right here rubber it's kind of rubberized grommet right there and what that is you just run your uh, temperature uh probe probe wires through that see and you can run several of them in there. The smaller size, I don't know, you get on a three, four, I don't, I don't really know. Uh, I just know I run a lot of temperature probes. And uh, I went ahead and opted for, you know, the larger uh, size here. Try to get this back on single-handed. There we go. Now, like I said, I just ordered the, uh, you know, the next size up there. Because I do run a lot of, uh, a lot of probes. <laughs> and, you know, go large or go home, right, guys? Again, on the outside here, we opted for the, uh, the tail truth uh, thermometers and we ran them right down the center there and uh, this smoker runs really nice really even you know um, i've been amazed uh this is the first stick burner i've ever owned and i was worried about you know the learning curve on it and it's just it's been uh, super easy you know it just it just runs itself really and i've been a great learning experience and uh just you know i look forward to it just getting better and better every, every with every cook really i expect so up to the top here we have our vent here so we, did, we control this. It's another pinwheel here, but this is the pinwheel's got a cap on it. See? So you open that up, that's all the way open there. And then the cap, when you close her down here, she just falls into place and that locks it down so that's not gonna come open going down the road with you there. Uh, you're not gonna, you know, run down the road in the rain, get in the rain or whatever, and uh, fill your fill your smoke with uh, rainwater. The top, you know, flies open there. It's not gonna happen, you're not gonna get that. And again on the end here, well I've got two of the uh, the oversized um, Probe inserts here where you know if we're putting in your uh, putting, putting in your temp probes. I got two of those, one for the top rack and then one for the bottom rack. Like I say, uh maybe it's overkill, but you know, like I say, go large or go home, right guys? Now got a nice uh, double double handle here, you can get two hands on that if you want to. Uh it's this this is not right. I mean you can get out here and get a little workout. Oh, yeah, there we go. Pumping iron, baby, pumping iron. Three eighths inch steel here, it's a sixty inch main chamber, uh, forty eight inch long rack here, and about twenty one inches of uh, 21 inches uh, wide, deep here, and then 48 inches in depth. And here's a nice little, here's a nice little present they had with every uh, Shirley fabrication build. This is a, f a fire poker, just custom built fire poker, and they knocked these out with every build there. And again, just excellent looking welds on a, a really beautiful, beautiful fire poker. You could take, you might take this in the house and use it. <laughs> but uh, I may include one of these with, with every build. I'm just gonna hang that out of my way here, and we're gonna take a look here at the rest. Same thing on the inside. You got the stage right here, so these will come come out. The stage on both sides actually here, because these babies are you know 48 inches uh, long here. You know, this is a five foot long uh, you know cook chamber, right? So we got our stage right there, and you just load this up, do the work, whatever you need to do. Uh, run your probes, you know, in through here, get everything set up. You know, grab your probes, send them back to the back right there. Log this down, ease this back in. There you go. If you're, you know, run your probe wires if you're running them down, you know, down here to the front. But you know, it's nice. It's easy to get to everything. Easy to work on everything. Uh, bottom rack here, of course, you got a handle. We don't need that on the top because we just can reach under right here, and that would actually, you know, be in the way uh, up here, you know, for stowing meat or whatever. But on the bottom, we need it because we can't reach under this. So let's pull this out again. The bottom rack here, same as the top, 48 inches long and about uh, 21 inches deep there. Uh, again, the welds are just superb here, and uh, we've done two cooks on this, so we've gotten it seasoned up. We've done the initial seasoning, and then we've done uh, two cooks on this as well. So I'm just going to take these out, set these aside over here, set these out of the way, and we're going to go take a look at the inside here and show you just what makes a reverse flow kick. Now, there we go. 
All right, look at the mess. Got a lot of leaves, a lot of leaves falling here, guys. It is fall, the leaves fall, and they get all over everything. They are getting into the inside of my reverse, reverse flow here. Not good, we'll, we'll sweep those out. Anyway, here's your plate. You know, some people call this a girl or whatever. It's just a heat diffuser, really a plate. You could, you know, knock out, knock, take your uh, take your grates out and then, uh, I should get in here and you can cook a breakfast on that if you wanted to, just really as a girdle, <laughs> if you want to call it that. But, uh, here you got your slides again. Excellent, excellent looking wells here for the slide racks. Right there, here, it's the lower slide rack. And then back here, very nice. And here's where our stack comes in. Actually, it protrudes in a little bit here. So that'll drive the, you know, the heat and the smoke down, make it hold here a little. And then, you know, before it, before it exits there. So nice little feature, nice little, nice little D there. And here we have, that's the back side of our uh, slide. Let me just operate that out there. There we are, we're looking out the, out the end there, isn't that nice? <laughs> Put a little light in here so we see what we're looking at. So I have this road, you know, all the way down here to the end, and then the reverse load are open down here on this end. So that's the opening, that's where the plate, you know, terminates here. And then at the end of the plate here, we have a drain. There's your drain. So you just hose these out when you, uh, when you get done cooking. And as the name implies, the reverse flow, the, the heat comes under this plate right here, tra traverses the entire uh, smoker, the length of the entire smoker, and then it comes back up here and heats that plate up. So you're getting radiant heat coming up off of this plate here that runs the entire length. And it comes down here and it reverses flow, hence the name, reverse flow, and the smoke and the heat travel back across the top right here and out our stack there. Now we're gonna duck down in this hole right here and show you some more of these Shirley Wells. And these are ones that nobody's ever gonna look at. You gotta have a, a phone and stick your hand down in here, which we're gonna do, or a mirror or something. And I'm gonna see if I can get in here and, there you go. So more of those nice tight welds that you'll never see without a mirror or, uh, you know, sticking your phone. <laughs> I mean, you gotta really work at it to get a look at these welds and they're just beautiful guys. Just really superb. I mean, you know, the quality on these, is just just you know awesome absolutely awesome but i guess uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, close it up there well i guess we could take here's our, our workspace here got a nice uh, workspace uh, rack here runs a full length there and a nice nice heavy duty and you know you can get out here do a lot of cooking get your, all your work done and a good a good work area good workstation here but uh like i say guys can't recommend these uh Shirley Fabrication Smokers enough. Give them, a, give, them a, give them a call there. Check them out. They're on the internet here at uh, ShirleyFabrication.com. We'll put a link in the uh, we'll put a link in the comment section as well. And uh, you can go, uh, please do check that out. Get on there, ShirleyFabrication.com. And leave us some comments here. Tell us what you think. Tell us you know what, how we're doing with our with our videos here. And uh, please give us a like here and do subscribe, guys. We're going to be doing you know, some more reviews here. And uh, next month we're going to be moving on. I got something nasty here. Look at this. <laughs> I dug this out. I dug this out. This has been around here for years and years. This is over my grandpa's and just uh, sitting out, sitting out in the weather. This thing's, uh, I don't know, around 20 years old, I would guess. This is one of the old Brinkman smoking grills. And this thing's in really, really bad shape. But we're going to we're gonna be bring, showing you how you can bring one of these uh, back up to par, back up to, uh, you know, get some use out of it. If you don't have a lot of money and you want to get into smoking, you don't have to spend a ton to get into this, guys. You know, we're gonna take this, and bring it back, and put it into operation. We'll be doing that uh, uh, next month. Next month, so uh, you know, stay tuned in for that. A little Weber kettle there, these are good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead, and I guess we'll close this video out, guys. That's your review of the uh, inside. A good little look at the internal operating mechanisms of a Shirley fabrication reverse flow offset stick burner. We appreciate it, guys, and please do subscribe, and uh, give us a like there.